So I haven't gotten excited for an Intel launch in a really long time because it's really the same thing just over and over again. Of course you have your i3s which are dual cores with four threads, you have your i5s with four cores, and then you have your i7s with four cores but eight threads. That all changes now that we have Coffee Lake in the house and Obviously, they are over there sitting by the uh, computer ready to be unboxed, but of course we will have much more coverage with Coffee Lake and benchmarking some of these more budget-oriented processors, the i5-8400 and the i3-8350K. Uh, almost forgot those uh, numbers there, to really identify which one of these processors is best for gamers and if the 8350K even really belongs in the stack at all. So you read the title of the video, let's go ahead and unbox these Coffee Lake chips. Now of course one of the first things you should notice about the chips is that the i5 actually has a larger physical box than the i3 and um, obviously those of you that are familiar with processors um, and coolers being shipped with them will know that the i5 will come with a cooler, the i3 will not. So uh, the reason being, this is an overclockable chip, it's unlocked, uh, you can overclock it to your heart's content. Intel's expecting people that buy this chip to also buy an aftermarket cooler to keep it cool. The i5 people are going to be able to plug this straight into your motherboard and it'll just work out of the box um, and you don't need to invest anything more into a cooler. And this of course can raise some concerns from um, people anyways because the i3 is a cheaper chip. I bought it off of Amazon for $179, whereas I bought the i5 for $187. But of course, once you factor in the price of an aftermarket cooler, the i3 is going to be more expensive than the i5. So one of the things I'm hoping to test throughout the coming week or two is whether or not that extra investment in the unlocked i3 will actually result in better gaming performance than six true cores with the i5. So let's go ahead and get started with the i3 processor. And these actually haven't been even opened by me. I legit have not opened these at all. Oh, here's a sticker I can cut. And there we go. So um, you're not going to be very surprised by this unboxing if you've ever unboxed your own processor. You have some documentation with a sticker that you could uh, throw onto a uh, case if you'd like. Nice and focused. And then of course there is nothing but some cardboard covering and the actual processor itself. And voila, we have the i3-8350K. So here is a better look at the 8350K, at least on the front side, and then we'll flip that over onto the back side so you can get a little bit of a look at that pin layout. Okay, now let's take a look at this uh, i5 and see just what kind of cooler we're working with with this uh, lock skew of the i5. Okay, same sort of thing here. You have some documentation. Again, you have an i5 sticker that you can put onto your case if you're into that sort of case badging thing. Uh, flipping this over, of course, we have the actual processor itself. And here is the uh, i5-8400 processor. By the way, the guys, this box is like origami. And here we have the absolutely miserable Intel stock cooler. Look how thin this thing is. Just awful awful stock cooler. It does have thermal paste pre-applied, however, considering Intel's uh, history with thermal paste, um, if you have some laying around that you know is high quality, you may actually do better off uh, swapping out to that. And then of course we have more Intel branding on top of the fan. Uh, this is the stock Intel heatsink that has been shipping with uh, processors for quite a long time. And then of course we have the looks at the Intel i5-8400 on the front side. And then once again over on the back side um, with the pen layout and you'll notice obviously there are some differences especially on the back uh, between the i5 and the i3 processor they're not identical on the back side obviously they are completely different chips but they do of course look very similar 
So that's really it for unboxing these two processors. In one corner over the next week, we'll have the 8350K, which is a quad-core, quad-thread processor, but fully unlocked. And we will be testing out with a very beefy cooler, specifically that uh, H100 IV2, which should be way overkill for cooling an i3. We'll see just how far we can push the 8350K. And then in the other corner, we have the hexa-core, hexa-thread, that's six if you didn't know, i5-8400, which is locked but giving you two more threads and two more cores obviously should have uh, performance gains in certain applications certainly some games will take advantage of that while others will not so let me know in the comments down below if there is something specific you want me to test with these processors maybe there's a workflow you want to test or maybe there's a specific game that you would like me to test if I have it available to me there's a good chance if it's requested I'll at least test it out and of course by the way if you are uh, already wanting to buy one of these processors and uh, you're not really wanting to wait on uh, Hoosier Hardware's videos, then uh, links are in the description below for uh, purchasing purposes. And of course, if you like this content, give it a like, share, subscribe, comment, all those things are very helpful to the channel. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. They are the same tag for your convenience. And we'll go ahead and let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware and I'll see you guys in the next video.